Here we are once again with part 15 where we will be looking at poplar, oak, mountain ash, lime, larch and holly in the autumn. So, same old, same old, um, we see the leaves starting to turn yellow um, and quite honestly, as with a lot of things, once one species starts to turn, you notice it all over the place. Uh, this is a white poplar, that just sort of, the leaf, which is a, a silvery green colour, dulls and, and just drops off. Uh, so you get a very sparse crown very, very early on, you know, sometime by the end of September there's nothing left. This is how we last uh, looked at oak, with the oak on showing themselves. Uh, but however, once the, the daylight hours start to reduce and the temperature start to drop, as with many other trees, the colour of the leaf starts to change. The green is absorbed back into the tree, the nutrients are absorbed from the leaf back into the tree, and this leaves the next strongest colour um, on the show. Um, and in the case of our normal English oaks, these are sort of yellowy, orangey colours. Um, and actually when they're in the sun, in the right sort of setting, you get some quite striking uh, shows. Uh, looking at this one from a distance looks very nice, look a bit closer. Now, if you like a show, you are going to love Mountain Ash. Just sit back and have a look at this. Once again, um, with lime, nothing too spectacular, but worthy of, of note because uh, it does change to quite a pleasant yellow colour. As with other evergreen trees, there's not a lot to show with regard to leaf colour in the autumn, but holly of course produces a wonderful array of different coloured berries. Look out for part 16, the final part in this series, coming up soon. And in the meantime, if you have any difficulties or problems in, in the garden, 
please contact www.priestgate.co.uk.